How's it going, Teal Boys? It is time for something new. Uh, it, some of you guys might have noticed uh, the poll that we posted on the community tab asking what we should do for our new series. Overwhelmingly, the majority of you said that we should do a Road to Glory. So let's do it. Now, I think that we're going to do a running back, uh, but we're going to do something maybe a little bit interesting with it. Let's just go ahead and set it to the running back. We are going to be a power back. And I don't think we're going to be an Iron Man. I don't think we're going to go and do any defense. Uh, but now it's time to randomize some stuff. That's how we're going to decide names, uh, gear that we're wearing, um, what we look like, where we're from. So we're going to start off with our name. So how we are going to decide this name is based off of a random name generator. Now it's going to generate 10 random names for us. And then we're going to use a random number generator to pick from this list of 10 who are we going to be called or what are we going to be called name number five is leo Pittman. we had some interesting ones up there but i think i'm fine with leo so we could go ahead and uh create leo and uh hope that we do okay here now again we are going to be a power running back but we can randomize our numbers. The game gives us 1 to 99, so I'll bring back the random number generator for that. And we'll go ahead and set that from 1 to 99. We could have a completely weird number here. I expect to 12. Ah, kind of a quarterback number, but that could work. So number 12. Uh, now we're going to flip a coin to see whether or not we are left or right handed. So we'll go ahead and go to their tools so we can go with the, the flip a coin heads will be left-handed tails will be right-handed it is tails so we're gonna be right-handed i always say it for a reason tails never fails <laughs> and for the rest of these we're just gonna kind of scroll through um obviously i'm from oregon but i don't think that we're going to end up being from oregon unless it's lucky specifically not wilsonville um I'm just going to count myself down. I'm not looking at the screen. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're from Minnesota. We're in Minnesota. A lot of options. 10,000 lakes that we could be spawned from. We have decided on uh, Moncato. <laughs> I might have butchered that one. The game has generated the Vikings name for us. It kind of fits. We're from Minnesota after all. Um, and uh, although we're from Minnesota, who knows what stadium we're going to uh, play our high school home games in. It looks like Northeast Large. Yeah, that fits well enough. How about our uniform and our colors? The Vikings. Uh, the NFL team, purple and yellow, kind of. How about us? Future set four for the jerseys. Cherry and white is the default colors. What are we going to get? Three, two, one powder blue uh, you'll have to excuse the the glitch on the loading there that'll fix eventually powder blue and three two one white well that's kind of lame how does it look can we get it to actually load properly there it is well we just look like north carolina interesting helmet design there but i guess that's going to be us with the vikings from oh gosh somebody from minnesota has to know this moncato Moncato? Who knows? Anyways, let's keep moving forward. Uh, our height, we are going to be short. That's going to be the, the fun of it, is we'll, we will be a 5'5 five five power running back. Um, I will randomize the weight, though, because that could add a little bit of a factor, but I don't think it matters a whole lot in this game. Maybe just our base stats. I honestly don't know in the road to glory. Let's count it down. 3, 2, 1. 321 pounds at five foot five we're a freaking monster of a running back that is fantastic oh my gosh leo Pittman. what are we gonna look like now we'll kind of randomize these and we have medium skin which face will we get oh my gosh what a chunky chunky boy <laughs> he kind of looks like a goober is it just me or are his eyes crossed <laughs> interesting uh, arm build goes up. Do these all go one or zero to 100? Besides the feet go, what, five to 21? All right, I'm going to random number generate all these and then we'll uh, jump right back in. So it is 40 on the arms. 
40 on the chest. We got a 37 on that one. We're going to be rounding up and down. 18 on the belly means we go to a 20 there. 77 on the rear means we got a thick booty up to 80. 39 on the thighs means they stay at 40. Interesting random numbers. 81 on the calves means that we go to an 80. So our feet will be size 6. <laughs> I mean, hey, we are short. It makes a little bit of sense. Um, my goodness, there is the chunky boy himself. And now we can kind of continue the randomization to see what Leo will look like. Oh, you know, I know that the, there's a couple of helmets that are really popular. I hope that we don't get an ugly one. Three, two, one. The eye on 40. Okay, not the, not the end of the world. Um, apparently this is what our helmet looks like now. That's pretty cool. How about our face mask? Three, two, one. Okay, the running back face mask. I guess that works. How about a Pfizer? Uh, I'm not going to let it be a dark one, but if it's the brand, we'll go to a uh, the non-dark one. I don't like the dark visors all that much, so we'll just go with the normal Nike visor there. Um, I'm going to flip a coin for this neck pad, and it is tails, so we won't have a neck pad. On our shoulder pad height, our random number is 40. What is going on here? Uh, I swear I'm not ringing it. That is just odd. Oh man, this is where we have a real opportunity to start looking terrible. Three, two, one on the left sleeve. It's a bottom half sleeve team color. That's, this is, this is kind of absurd. Left hand, taped fingers. Yeah, okay, I can't do this. This is atrocious. Okay, we've got him fixed. I just, it's so, it's so atrocious. All right, so we've got him uh, back from looking like an absolute abomination uh, as, you know, all these uh, parts of his uniform are like constantly changing as I switch through these settings. So I don't know what we'll actually look like. Um, I got to imagine we will have knee brace or, or some sort of something on the knee. Um, and this is a guy that's definitely wearing gloves. And we've got the Nike uh, visor, so we're going to go with the Nike gloves. Uh, it doesn't seem like the kind of guy I think that's going to have a whole lot uh, on the arms. No bicep bands or forearm bands, but I think, you know, big heavy guy. He's definitely going to have some, uh, some taped up ankles. Maybe an ankle brace, but I think um, just the, uh, the white thin on both of them. And we're going to give him one knee brace, depending on a coin flip, left or right. Which one's it going to be? The right knee will have a brace. Um, I mean, he's a big boy. He's not going to have the best joints in the world, so he's got to have something going for him. Socks kind of look weird in this game. And again, we're giving him the Nike shoes. Not going to be wearing a flak jacket. Not going to be wearing a back plate. No hand warmer. He is a towel guy for sure. Leo Pittman, that sounds like a towel guy through and through. And there is our man. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that randomly we get a man who's five foot five and 321 pounds. Power running back. Oh man, he's gonna he's gonna murder. So we get to choose which colleges we want to play for right off the bat. He's a Minnesota kid. We have to choose the Gophers. 81 overall. Not the not the craziest team. They're power five. They are ranked a four-star team. That'll work for us. Our team two. Now, again, this uh, I think that we might just have to go random. So I'm going to start scrolling through. And whatever we land on is what we're going to land on. And hopefully it fits. Uh, let's stop it in five, four, three, two, one. We got Charlotte. Okay, a team new to the CFB revamped mod. So that could be interesting or not necessarily new, but updated with the mod. Sorry. And uh, you know what? Let's go right. We went left the last time. Going right this time. What will be the third team on our list? Minnesota to Charlotte to 5-4-3-2-1. Louisiana. The Raging Cajuns, huh? That's a very, very interesting top three schools. <laughs> uh, somehow, Raging Cajun is better than Minnesota, according to these overalls. But uh, I wouldn't mind taking the Golden Gophers to victory. We are going to go, obviously, with the Heisman sliders. And we will go ahead and begin this road to glory. 
So our spark rating, uh, I, it's been a long time, I've got to be honest, since I've done a road to glory, so I don't remember everything that we have to do. But we have attended the spark combine in Chicago, and we have a spark rating of 83. Awfully low. We want that, obviously, into the triple digits. Let's uh, see what we can get. One thing before we go into our first game is I am going to set all the sliders to the ones that we're using for our coastal series. Alrighty, so we're all set up for this. Zero recruiting points for Leo. What can we do? We're heading to, or we are against Inver Grove, uh, the Timberwolves. Again, if you are from Minnesota, some of these names might seem interesting, but let's get into this and kick off our road to glory. So here we are. First time out. We aren't the captain. Beautiful uniforms. That's what they actually look like. Uh, we have lost the toss i think that was uh we're gonna choose to defend one direction there's no wind and let's see what happens we'll go ahead and skip until we're on the field and uh am i returning punts <laughs> i don't know if i feel like we look five foot five uh 321 pounds but i guess we'll find out when we come up to some other high school kids well we get a return a punt to start off our career and it's a pretty solid one Back juke working pretty well. Maybe not the most uh, power running type of move, though. Maybe I should just try to bowl these guys over. Not entirely sure why, but Coach is giving us the run to the outside on first down. We will be just taking that up the middle. <laughs> Five yards on our first carry is pretty solid. We have the reaction time, and we will be using it throughout this uh, little career of ours, but plays like that certainly aren't going to help. Third and eight, and we are still running the ball. I'm not really sure what uh, coach is thinking. Try to use the reaction time. There's nothing doing. We lose two yards. They're making us look bad. So we have to punt the ball away, and these guys do nothing with it. They punt it back to us or something. We've got the ball here at midfield where they're just going to run it to us. So maybe our quarterback's not very good, but we will be taking this handoff, trying to follow our blockers. And the blocking is not good, so we're just going to lose two yards. This is going to be rough. Now they're calling the lead draw, and you can see how small we are compared to our fullback. But is it going to matter? We bowl over one guy, we bowl over another, and we fall forward for three yards. I think that's the way to go. Just lower the head and just start trucking. We have the benefit of the doubt of having that super low center of gravity. Is We're set up here for a uh, four verts, and... I'm going to be going out. Give me the ball. Oh, okay. Well, maybe throw me the ball properly, Steve. Fourth and nine. This isn't going too well. So our opponents have the ball again, and they are starting to move the ball, but there it is. Punt it away, and, uh, well, are we on the field? We are now. Second and three. I guess we were taking a little bit of a breather. You can see our stamina not too hot. We're going to hand this one off, and again, we just got to get north. We get our first first down. We break another tackle, and there's a nine-yard carry. Oh, it's going to be a lot of beautiful power running. So again, getting the handoff on this first down. Tight end in motion for us. How's the blocking going to be? Trying to follow the blocking. It's fantastic. We have a surprising amount of speed as we were able to pick up the first down easily that time. Now, just as a little house rule for us uh, on this Road to Glory we're not really going to be building our speed. Um, our points don't make sense to be going into the speed. As, oh my gosh, Leo. 20 yards on the carry there. But anyways, it doesn't make sense for us to be building into speed. So we'll be building into the power and all the all the uh, you know trucking and, and brake tackle and stiff arm. Uh, wow, we're getting a really good job running. Could we score? Finally. We are getting this handoff first and goal. We're up to like 60 yards or so on 10 carries. And nearing the end of the first quarter, we're going to use this reaction time to try to follow our blockers and make sure that we get positive yards. There's another six. We're inside the five. We better find pay dirt on this one. Second and goal. They're calling the dive up the middle. No need for the reaction time. We shed the attempted tackle and we've got our first touchdown on the board. So we scored. They failed to move the ball. and We're back to return another punt. Fourth and two for IGHS. This is a, definitely a returnable ball. What can we do with it? The blocking. Uh, Well, it was not the greatest. There's a flag down, though. Is this going to be a clipping? It's a holding. So that backs us up and negates some of the 
Uh, return force, but that's fine. First and 10, we can just run, and that gives us more opportunity to run down the field. So we get nine yards there, 80 on the ground for us this first half. I'm curious if this coach is ever going to call a play other than a four vert. This one trying to stretch it out towards the edge, following the blockers, and we get tackled from behind. Oh, I was so focused on the front that I just didn't pay attention to what was happening behind me. It doesn't work out, and third and inches, we're going to run this ball here. Tried to cross the 40. The blocking, dude, our blocking is great. Again, tackled from behind, but we do get enough for the first down. In the Wildcat now, believe it or not. I didn't have a choice on when we snapped the ball, but... <laughs> okay, coach is dialing up some interesting calls, and we got six yards out of the Wildcat. I love it. Our quarterback, obviously not too good of a passer, so that'll be interesting. Oh, great blocking. We're not going to have enough to score. But we get 28 more yards. We're well over 100 now on the day. Could we get this blowout victory? It feels like it. If we can just continue to find the end zone, that'll be fantastic. And this running to the outside is working all too well. Breaking tackles all over the place. Man, this is something I'm not used to, especially with our Coastal Series. Certainly not going to complain. It feels so nice to be able to run properly. As again, we're getting the ball and we're just going to try to truck through some guys another five yards it's impressive how easily it seems like we're able to move the ball tight end in motion second and five uh trying to follow the blocking falling forward uh too easy first and goal they better give me the ball on this play kind of wish that we were running another dive because obviously i could just pull through but we're going with the toss and i'm gonna use the reaction time well it won't matter uh we got hit anyways and we lose three and the coach apparently just loves me. He's calling another run, although, again, it's to the outside on the short side of the field. Second and goal. The blocking's going to hold up just fine, though, and we can just waltz into the end zone. Easy little five-yard touchdown run, our second of the day. They have finally scored, so 14-6. to six. We've got to try to block the, the extra point, and, yeah, we're not going to get close to any of those, I don't think. Ooh, we get a return kicks, too. You guys know how much I love that. Decent kick from this high school kid. Gets it almost to the end zone. And now on the return. Uh, oh, we couldn't really do much there. The blocking was pretty solid, but maybe not enough stamina. One thing for sure, our defense is playing lights out. We've had the ball a ton in this first half. Uh, oh, plays like that won't help. It is a flag down. Is this going to be on us or will we get bailed out? It is a holding. Dang. So not only does the center kind of get beat, but he gives it up. We're back in the Wildcat. Running this ball on first and 20. The blocking is... Wow. It wasn't really there. The guy just missed. We're not going to have the stamina to do a whole lot with this, but we just got 41 yards and cross midfield. Oh my gosh. We could be on pace for 300 yards in this game. Two minutes left in this first half. We're going to go with the four verts apparently. And our quarterback got sacked. So we are not a, a passing team apparently. Coach only knows how to run and how to call the four verts, though. We're getting another one, second and 18. And I'm kind of open, but he gets hit as he's throwing again. Steve is not having a good day in the pocket. Oh, and here we go. The AI play calling has given us an AI play call. Third and 18. We've got the halfback slip screen, and I don't really know where my guy was running on that one, but we lose three yards on the reception, and it's fourth and 20. So we will go ahead and see what they can do uh, with the remaining two minutes. Nothing. They're going to be forced to punt it away. We're bringing the house and we're going to uh, get the chance to return this. So a minute to go. It is a returnable punt from midfield. We've got a little bit of space. Can we just truck some guys over and get positive yards? So far, this is working pretty well. Finally throwing a normal passing route here or normal passing play. We'll see. If Steve has time to get one off, I'm going to say I'm open just because it's a road to glory. That's what you do, right? <laughs> so the clock, unfortunately, is moving. But hey, we've got uh, we got positive yards receiving and I'm open again. I think, uh, man, we are just dominating 321 pounds and we're doing this. I'm going to be honest, if we're not open, I don't want to call for the ball, but it doesn't seem like anybody else is really doing anything. It's stuck at the line. He is throwing it. No idea what's happening. It's a touchdown, though. So Steve has found the end zone. Now four of six through the air, and we score again with 30 seconds before the half. They weren't able to do anything with their halftime. Apparently, I returned the ball. Apparently, we have the ball. 
And Leo is having such a great game. 21 to 7. We have two of those touchdowns and a huge chunk of yards. As I think that's going to be a theme. Falling forward for four there. I'm curious if we're going to uh, play the whole game. Oh my gosh. The blocking could have been great. It's decent. We <laughs> stretch it out to the edge and we got the first down. This has been working all too well. First and 10. I am open. I'm going to call for it. He's not going to give it to me. And that was incomplete, I think. We're back in this wildcat formation. And so we are going to try to follow the blocking. It just didn't hold up long enough. Didn't have a whole lot to work with. Pretty big third down here. We are one of four on the day on these third downs. And they called the slip screen, which has not worked well for us. Uh, let's see if I can do something with it. I'm going to use this just to make sure that we kind of get out here. Wide open with a blocker. Oh, man. That guy took a terrible angle. Leo, 35 yards on the reception. We are just racking him up. This feels all too easy for us. I think we're going to do pretty well in this uh, high school little season that we've got going on. Second and six. Follow the blockers. Fall forward. Oh, 14 yards. We're stopped at the goal line. They better give me this touchdown. You know that our coach relies on us when this is our 29th carry of the game. First and goal, we're going to use the reaction time to get in. And never mind, we don't need to. The blocking was fantastic. Our offensive line is great at run blocking. So the defense is playing lights out. We're back in the Wildcat to start this drive. I think our 30th carry of the game now. And again, trying to follow the blocking just to make sure we get positive yards. And there we find them. This is a monster stat line. Surprised that we're still playing, but I guess it is high school and they need to make sure that we don't give up this lead. Also, apparently our passing game is pretty atrocious. So on third downs, our coach is relying on us to do some work. We're just going to try to bowl the guy over. We got it. Didn't need to use the reaction time, but it felt like a good moment. I really do think that having this uh, low center gravity is pretty useful. Again, following the blocking, getting north. Another first down. We are, we're too quick. We are way faster than we should be. On this first down. I got to just try to break that tackle, but it doesn't work. We might be going for 300 yards today. I have to pass the ball. Third and one. We're in the Wildcat running the play action. Triangles open. We got a completed pass for 14 yards. Oh, I hope whatever team we goes to allows us to... Uh, run a little bit in the wildcat that was great we're so short i'm not even sure how we're able to see over the line but i'll take it uh just running for the touchdown there third touchdown of the game 15 yards on the carry oh how great would it be if we could pass for a touchdown now coach must have benched our quarterback we're back out in the wildcat for like the 10th time this game getting the carry and the blocking. Oh, our wide receiver missed the block that we needed. Thankfully, we still got good yards there. And what a beginning to our senior season here. Just got to cut that north and we do get positive yards. What the heck is this play? Percent LHB1 option. Okay. Well, we're looking to get the completion. And oh I'm I'm choosing a new route because we're wide open. If they're not gonna cover that, we're gonna we're gonna ask the quarterback for it. We are just decimating our opponents at this point. Um I I we got nothing else to say. Just come out, run the ball, pick up a bunch of yards, follow the blockers who are doing so incredible this game, and just march our way down the field. Another first down. Two minutes left in the game. Our coach hasn't brought us out there. Tried to spin. Not something I think we would be very good at. Oh, we only got a yard. At this point, I'm hoping the coach doesn't take us out. We're seven yards away from that uh, elusive 300. And I really hope we can get it, although he's called a mid-draw. Draw plays do not work well for me in this game. We're going to have to use the reaction time to make sure that we do something. And yeah, that just wasn't it. I think I had it up. I uh, went up the middle, but... Um, our coach is going for this, though. Halfback lead dive on fourth and six up a bunch with a minute to play. 
Guess we're trying to burn the clock. Try to follow the blockers, and we got five yards. Was that enough to put us over 300 on the day, though? I think we are at 300. We got the ball back because our defense has played lights out once again. And we will, uh, I guess, get another carry. And that'll secure the 300 for sure. I think that puts us at 305 on 44 carries. Goodness. He just wants to continue to run the ball. 25 seconds left. Could have ran the clock out, but instead he wants us to take it even further. <laughs> 42 more yards added on. And now finally we come out in the victory formation. We'll kneel this clock out. And wait, we're running another play? Oh my gosh, this coach has bad manners. Well, we got another yard. 351 on the ground. We broke 350, four touchdowns. We had a pass completed. We had receptions. We probably had 400 total yards. We just absolutely dominated. Here's our play of the game. Absolutely us. Coach is uh, surprisingly friendly here at midfield. So we got 225 recruiting points for that. Uh, we are a one start. 46 carries, 351 yards. That's great. Uh, four rushing touchdowns, five receptions for 65 yards. And they got to add on our one pass completion for, uh, what was it, 15 more yards? So after one game, uh, it looks like we could play most of the places we wanted. Unfortunately, uh, Minnesota in the ULL or spread style offenses show it is a one back but maybe we could fit in at a spread offense we'll go ahead and hop here though into week two where we will take on the champlin firebirds and these guys champlin are going to lose this coin toss i'm curious if we start with the ball oh i get to de decide well yeah we'll start with the ball now i'm gonna start not playing the special teams so if you are wondering why those disappear, that's why. And we will get to running. We did a great job on the first game. What can we do here against Champlin? The Firebirds, maybe a little bit uh, more difficult. Maybe a stronger defense. Another carry. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, they got a little bit of something going here. And this is bad news. Coach is deciding to uh, throw the ball pretty early. I'm open. Uh, we've got the first down a little bit more. They just don't want to cover me. Maybe we're too short. They can't see us. Second down, following the blocks, breaking a tackle. Almost got enough for the first time. Imagine we get the carry here. My coach really loves this wildcat formation. Maybe for a good reason. Oh, are we gone? Diving tackle misses. Do we have the speed? I got to try to dive for it. And we're in 55 yards to the house to open up this game oh wow okay good play calling coach the defense held because they are world class and this first down gets us a few more yards i'm curious what it would take for coach to sub us out hopefully we don't get injured oh that's a great great cut up the middle we already have 84 rushing yards and coach says, okay, we're in about the right spot on the field. Looking for the 55-yard touchdown in the Wildcat. The blocking's not going to be there, though, this time. So we only get two yards. Second and eight. Here's another handoff. And I didn't follow my blocks very well that time. But we got to midfield. What do we got here? Third and five. And you know what? I'm just noticing the textures on these guys' knee pads are very, very weird. It's like the bottom of their pants or something. I don't know. I don't think that's just me hallucinating. Looks odd. Defense held again. We couldn't quite do it on the last drive. Uh, we're definitely being held up more than our first game. Second down. Another carry. Yeah, that one I had to break the tackle because we were not getting the uh, block on that play. Man, by the end of this, we might have to add that second knee brace. We're getting run into the ground. Oh, a false start from our uh, left guard there. Actually, I think it was the left tackle. We get the opportunity to pass again, second and nine. This is probably a pick, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why coach thinks that we can do that. This is a big third and nine here to start the second quarter. And I'm open. Uh, ball just was a little bit low. We're pissed off about that one, apparently. This one's not going all that well for us. First and 10. 
Only up seven. This game is still way too close for comfort. And we're not having an easy time picking up yards. That last play did give us 100, and now we get to run the uh, the halfback wheel, which works so well often in this game. And there's a nice seven-yard reception. We have pretty good hands. Maybe it's the gloves. Go ahead and try to see how this run goes. Fourth and four. This is a big play. Got to use the reaction time every once in a while. Hey, it's there. We might as well. We got nine yards on that one. And one thing's for certain in this game, our coach is actually subbing us out a lot more. So we're playing fewer downs, but maybe that's for the best. Breaking the tackle, we don't have enough to get the touchdown, but it is nine more yards and a first and goal. And he's not going to let me run it in. Well, we scored, but I didn't get to be a part of it. Well, the defense held again, but that's not good. I need to be scoring touchdowns, coach. Nobody else on this team is going to uh, a Division I school. Doesn't he understand? Oh, no. Did we fumble the ball? Oh, no. We are lucky to have recovered that. That's This is not a good game for us. Hopefully, we can make up for that as we will break another tackle. And this is a first down, and we held on to the ball. That's good. On third and eight, we'll come out in the corner strike. My route doesn't really get me to the line to gain, so we're just going to kind of run a streak. I'm wide open. They found me, and we got the first down. They just don't cover me. We're definitely making Steve look good as I think that going into halftime here, we're just running out the clock. Unless we get very good blocking, we don't expect this to go for a whole lot. And yeah, not really any blocking. We just got back to the line of scrimmage. Well, goodness, this feels awfully early in the third quarter for me to be passing the ball again. See what we can do. Second and ten. Oh, gosh, I want to get outside the pocket, but the camera angle is so terrible. We made one man miss. <laughs> What's going on with the camera? We got six yards. I don't want to pass the ball, coach. Well, maybe I should want to. He benched us for the rest of that drive. Nothing happened. So I guess if we don't pass the ball, he's, he's going to get angry at us. I mean, it is against coach's orders. Getting the stiff arm cheese forward for a massive 10 yards. Third and seven, what can we do? Uh, great, great little cut. It's felt like we got more than four yards, but we'll take it. Fourth and three, we might have to go for this. Man, coach hates me. We don't go for it. They march down the field and score the field goal. It's the start of the fourth quarter. What can we do here? Oh, man. Our trucking felt like we were stronger in the first game. Maybe this is just truly a better team. It's a two-score game here, so I would expect Coach to just put the ball or keep the ball on the ground for the rest of this drive. Well, uh, Coach pulled me out. We had to punt the ball away again. Defense held again. And with 437 left in the game, we get to come back out and run some more. And whoa, 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 whoa. We... Oh, how do we lose three yards there? Well, that one was weird. At least the clock is moving, but I don't want to have that happen again. Second and 13. Coach might bench me if we keep doing stuff like that. But I guess if we make up for it with a massive 13-yard carry, then it'll work out. Every one of those first downs that we pick up would be pretty big. Only 10 of them on the game. Oh, this is not going to work. We called the draw, and they're bringing a blitz. We did break two tackles, though. We're still on our feet, and we got four yards out of that play. Oh, I love power running backs. I am curious, though, who the backup is that keeps coming in and stealing our reps. So we keep getting taken out of the game. That's fine, though. We don't necessarily need uh, the reps because we have plenty of yards. 168 yards on the ground today with a nice 55-yard touchdown is pretty impressive. And, hey, you know, coach puts us in and we do work. They're taking their timeouts now. Here's a handoff. Great blocking. Couldn't break the tackle from the safety, but forcing them to take their second time out. And really, this should be the last play. I think that we could almost kneel this out. A first down would guarantee it, though, so that's what we're going for. Got to make sure we stay in bounds first, though. I mean, the CPU is really bad at burning the clock because somehow all of a sudden it's third and two. We've burned like three seconds, but that'll do it. First and goal. We've got it done. Maybe coach wants me to run up the score, though. On first and goal, yeah, we do get this carry. We broke a tackle, couldn't break the second. We did get positive yards, which is always nice. And that's going to be it. Coach subbed us out. They burned the rest of the clock. And how about this for a play of the game? Out of the Wildcat, the blocking was incredible. 
Uh, what a way to kick off our high school career today. Look at those, uh, the bottom of their pants. <laughs> Such a weird texture bug. So on this game, we earn our second star. Only 85 points on the game. So we go 32 carries for almost 200 yards. 198 with one touchdown. Three catches for 36 yards. And do we complete another pass? No. We're like one for two or one for three through the air now. Ooh, we have some new schools interested in us. Iowa State and Iowa. And I gotta say, I like Iowa State, but I think Iowa kind of fits us a little bit better. So we're gonna go with the Hawkeyes. So there we go, 2-0 to start the season. We will play on the road for the first time for our next game uh, at the Hopkins Bandits. Look at our college choices here, four squads. Trying to get up there. Two back, two four-star Big Ten teams. And we have one in the Sun Belt and one in the American. I think we're going to have a lot of uh, schools to pick from, though. But that's going to do it for this start of a uh, new road to glory. A new series. Uh, you guys voted for it. There was a lot of suggestions on what position to play. So I'm sorry if you wanted quarterback or something on defense. But uh, running back seemed like a decent way to go. You know, a lot of people do quarterbacks. I don't really like defensive road to glories. I don't find it as entertaining. So uh, at least we get to run the ball, you know, 30 to 40 times a game. That being said, let me know, guys, how you felt about this, uh, our choices. <laughs> how about the fact that we're five foot five and 321 pounds? I'm curious to hear your thoughts about uh, maybe what team would be a good fit for us or potentially how maybe we should think about building this running back but regardless that's going to be it um please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and while you're down there hitting the subscribe button head on over to the description where you can find links to my twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster where we play a lot of non-nca related gaming content uh, there's also links to my twitter and our community discord as well as a link to the college football revamped mod if you're looking to pick that up for yourself but regardless thank you guys so much for watching my name is goodmaster you guys are huh well you're not the teal boys in this series uh <laughs> what do i call you here i guess that's something you can let me know about for now we'll say you guys are the leos <laughs> i don't know lions i mean leo lion who knows <laughs> Wherever you are, though, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.